Hello, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I know it's been a while since I've done anything, but I've been busy. Right? Like we all are. So, data mines. It is data mine day. My favorite time of the month. I always talk to a lot of people about this kind of stuff because I, I enjoy it. So, if, if you guys don't want to be spoiled on anything, use your chance to leave. So, we got a lot to cover, right? I'm not going to go over the, the egg mons. Egg mons, I'm probably going to do a video in the future about. Lodge, Morty. Morty's being added into the lodge. We're getting a, a Morty and Ghastly pair. Nice. Palantine's pairs. Uh, Mallow and Appleton. Then Elsa and Togetic. So, so th these are like off choices for me. Appleton makes the most sense here to me. But like, Elsa and Togetic. Complete curveball for me. Uh, fairs, we are getting Annabelle and GMAX Snorlax and Emma and Crobat. Very, very fun stuff. Ex uh, expanded grids, Elsa and Zip Striker are getting a, I think it's a power boost? It's a power boost or a 3 of 5, either way. Sycamore and Xerneas are getting, a, are getting the power boost via the, via event. Chantal and Chandelure, Maylene and, and Medcham and Rorik and Ramparados are our 3 and 4 star grids. Then our EX is going to Viola and Surskit, and our expanded fair grid for this month is Alder and Volcarona. So very, very fun stuff, but then part two of the Diamond is we're getting Kalos CS. I'm not going to go over that, but just so you know, that's happening. Uh, other stuff to note about this update, we are getting a free ticket that will be a champion sync pair that you can choose so it's a free fair select pretty much amongst the pool so if there's someone there you you don't know if you are not get it i'll be making a video on the current fair selects that are live as well that end very soon and as well as that ticket we're getting we're getting the the 100 free free pulls as well the uh the, the 10 daily multis starting the i think it's the 18th and one more thing that's very important I'm going to go over in a little bit. Uh, we're getting a pair update and another Mass Affair rerun. So there is a Mass Affair for this month on top of the three that is going on. That anniversary is coming, so that's a little iffy. But it, but this one is for good reason, I promise. So let's go over v v Volcanion. We knew that the we knew that the we knew that Lysandre Lysander was coming again because they did this with Cyrus, they did this with every villain. We knew we knew a Lysandre pair was coming. So so passives, we have Grand Entry 4, very similar to Raihan. Uh Steaming Surge 5 powers up the user moves in sequence when the target is burned. So that's like really good. That is that that's burn synergy and scorching sync in one. Hostile Environment 3 raises the chance of inflicting status conditions, so burn. Uh, steam, steam Eruption, single target, 188 base power. So it goes from 157 to 188. R removes frozen condition from the user, 30% chance of leaving the target burned. And so that goes up to 60. So you have more than a coin flip chance, which is pretty good. Uh, heat Wave, 10% chance, which goes up to 40. Then you have Hostile Environment, I think somewhere else no never mind okay then buddy hydro pump this is a fun one active condition when there's at least one burned pokemon on, on the opponent's side of the field the active condition when no longer any pairs are burned so anyone who cleanses or becomes immune for example cobalion that would be the deactivate condition general legendary arenas or gauntlet this the power of this move is not lowered even if there are multiple targets because because despite being hydro pump this is AOE so there's no split damage in this applies super the next to the user applies free move next increases special move next by the number of burn Pokemon on the opponent's field to play so if there's one you get one stack two two stacks three three stacks you get the point so this isn't before this is after. So this is to, this is to prepare you for a strong steam eruption. Three hundred base power is a lot though. So blazing belief raises accuracy by one stat rank, raises crit rate by three, and applies free move next. So you get so you give yourself plus four special attack and plus three crit rate in one action, technically speaking. So that's really good. Then nation creation hydro pump three hundred BP because you are a strike pair that becomes AOE when you ex. 
Now, grid tiles. As you can see, this is opposite fair, so you get the full picture, to be blunt. So you so you have some steam eruption accuracy, so so that that's a guaranteed hit, unless uh, obviously besides accuracy stuff. You, you raise your own accuracy, so that is fine. That is whatever. You get a move gauge refresh, and you get some power. Fine. Two out of five, you get burn synergy one, scorching sink two, and raging rain for multipliers. This pair has a lot of fucking multipliers. So five, seven, seven, eight. So that's eighty percent move damage, seventy percent sink damage, just for two out of five. That's like a decent amount. Team MPR, whatever. Three out of five, you get burn, burn boost special two. Increase special move next when an attack against the target is successful. That is burned, thirty percent chance. So one, one. So I discussed this with Heat Wave in in the server that I'm at, Devin, which is in the description below. This should only work once. As in, if you hit three people, you shouldn't be able to get three stacks. That's not going to happen. Scorching Sink, nine. So, so that's 70% we said before. That's going to go up to 160. But to then, if Rain's up, that is 210. That's hilarious. Uh, we also we also have Furious Brain, so that's another 30% when it's raised. So that that's like great. Adrenaline, whatever. Water Guard, whatever. Uh, TM bring in nine, so you get special move next when you use when you use bla Blazing Belief. That's a tongue twister. I swear to God, I'm I'm gonna fuck that up at one point. So so that's pretty good. TM ramp up, so you can get your full plus six special attack and three crit rate in one TM. You get Heat Wave Scorching Touch. Fifty percent chance of leaving the target burned. So that's like on a roll, I guess, or that might be its own effect. I don't know, but but either way, he he can supply burn effectively with that. Heat wave, heat wave, super duper effective nine. So you with this, you'll be able to start doing decent fire damage because also you still have. Oh my god, I keep clicking it. You still have the steaming surge. You have the burn synergies. You have sun up. You have people who could do fire rebuff. So that's all very good stuff. This fire damage is gonna be very good. Four to five, piercing gaze, moves never miss, and sync freebie, whatever. Then five out of five, you get you get super sync. When you sync, you get you get super fed next. So if you wanted to save that for be hydro pump, or if you wanted to do a super powered steam eruption, that is an idea. Then you have burned attack and special defense down nine. Hundred percent chance of lowering attack attack and special defense by one stat rank when you hit a burn target so you can lower special defense that way so that's not a bad idea at all really i think three out of five is really where you should stop with this but the, but that's just my opinion now next fair let's go over annabelle and snorlax now this pair is i think hilarious so dynamax obviously gmax uh, re uh, replenish support pair so support ex very very good we all know what that does uh passives team limited special defense nine hundred percent chance of breaking the special defense when when you use a move with a limited number of uses which in this instance will be reflect protect and requesting backup so special so you'll be able to get a bunch of special defense uh allied field effect multiply two Raises your stats when when effects that apply only to the allied side field fight are in effect. So the, so that's not weathers and zones, obviously. That's reflect, light screen, move gate acceleration. Yes, this works with move gate acceleration. So so it's like Flygon in that sense of where your base stats get buffed without there being stat ranks involved. Then max TR5, whereas you... Restores used HP by 50% after using its max move. That is um, a hefty amount of healing. To put it bluntly. So yeah, headbutt, obviously, flinch. You know how, how I like flinches. A aggravation with that, great. Reflect, we all know what that does. Protect, applies the damage guard to the user. Makes sense. 
The rest of the backup applies critical hit defense to the app to the out of field play, staff's condition shield, and special da damage reduction. All of that in one. So this is like a Sableye in that sense. Then it raises as the attack of oh, Sing Prize by two staring. So she could top off attack as well. Then with Critical Squad down here, she can also top off crit rate being plus one. But then obviously with G Max replenish, you that is that is another one. So you could do plus four attack and plus two crit rate if you choose to do that. Yeah, I went over that pretty quickly. So, Grid, there's a lot here. You don't get much here. I'm just going to be blunt about it. Two out of five, you get Fire Guard as a, a, an Ice Guard as a reference to Thick Fat. Quick Cure, Stalwart, and Unbending, so your defenses can't be lowered. And, and PR, Reflect on PR is good. Healthy Healing, so you, start the, so you start the fight with HP Regen. Three out of five, you get the Critical Squad. You get Aggravation. You get Shielded. You get de debut, de debut physical damage reduction. So when you enter the field, you get that physical damage reduction. Charging infliction. When you use a stats move, you get two move gauge. That's whatever to me personally. So a lot of good stuff. Endure as well if you want to go that route. So yeah, three out of five is like a very good point if you want to go going for this pair. Four to five, you get you get allied field effect accelerate quickly charges move gauge when effects that apply to only to the uh, field of play are in effect. So this can stack with move gauge acceleration, so you are you are zooming. Then team max sync boost physical. Hundred percent chance of increase in physical move next of all sync pairs by one after the user uses its max move or sync move. So this is G Max replenish or your sync. So I think so. This isn't a one-time thing, to my knowledge. So you, so so this should be you sink, you get it, you max move, you get it. That should be what this means. Not a hundred percent certain. Now five out of five, you get sinker healing, which is very good because support ex, uh, you heal everyone, and you get the support bonus, which we all know how great that is. And move gate acceleration, I kept mentioning move gate acceleration because he can supply his own, so you could stack a bunch of speed raising stuff and just zoom. Speed is not a problem with this pair at all. Yeah, Snow Axe is someone I might actually I might actually get five out of five. Why am I blanking on who the fucking pairs are? I'm going so fast. Appleton, not going over there yet. Crowbat! All right, Crowbat. This is a fun one. We finally have a copy of Poison DPS. I'm just gonna say that right now. Strike again. I've been saying my strike candies. Poison Fang, Potion, Buddy Cross Poison. When there's at least at least one, one poison or bad poison Pokemon on the opponent's side of the side of the field. Deactivation condition when no one is poisoned or battle poisoned. Once again, same example as as Volcano. Anyone who who cleanses is immune, or or um, not not field stage change. I guess HP bar drop, cleanse that way. LA, I think you've got the point. Never misses. Very good. Targets one opponent except in certain cer certain circumstances, being vigilance and crit and critical guard. Successful hits with this attack become critical hits. 10% chance of ba badly poisoning the target. So so that's if like someone on the side is poisoned and you're attacking the middle, for example, you have a chance to poison the middle. So guaranteed crit, or nearly guaranteed crit, and never misses. That's like very, very, very good. Here we go. Raises the user's attack by four. Raises the speed of all allies by four. So speed with everyone is not a problem with this pair very nice raise attack by four so it just needs a little top off and no crit rate top off which is amazing now skills we have head start two very fast toxic freebie 50 percent chance of applying free move next when you attack an opponent who's poisoned or battle poisoned then critical sync the user's crit moves are a sync except in certain circumstances which is the same thing as buddy cross poison but, yeah, your sync is critting as well. No critical support for this Pokemon. That is 
fucking amazing. Now, grid 105, as usual, you're not getting much. You know, base kit with this pair is perfectly fine. Two out of five, you get toxic power. You get you get sync, you get sync, you get sync. Sync poison damage up. Thank you. Toxic chance. So this is like on a roll. Or hostile environment. That is the word I'm looking for. Toxic hit attack. 50% chance of raising the attack by one stat rank when you're hitting an opponent, but then standing for speed. But this is guaranteed. So you can max out your own speed. And you can max out your own attack by yourself if you choose to go this route. 3 out of 5, you get adrenaline. Potion NPR. And I forgot you had got Mass Heal at too. Uh, TM Slippery. That's alright. Uh, Poison Zone Acceleration. Rejuvenate. Ramming Speed and Inertia. Very good. 3 out of 5. That automatically makes it worth it. To toxic Power. Uh, automatically worth it. And Super Toxic. This is like Super Prep, but when the enemy is poisoned. So also very worth it because you can get your own Super Fentive up. Now, 4 out of 5. You get, you get Ruthless Toxin. 100% chance of lowering a stat by 2 when you attack someone who's poison or bad poison. You get you, you get the picture here. Then TM TM Movegate Acceleration. So here we go. Also gives you Movegate Acceleration. Then then uh, 5 out of 5 is Team Evasive Maneuvers. You can raise all ally evasion. And Venomous Sink All. You, you poison everyone or battle poison everyone when you use your sync move. So so that's helpful for like very very fast move get, get move get acceleration comps and what's the word I'm looking for? And half sync, thank you. Half sync is the big one for that because because it's like a free get out of jail free card. But personally with this pair, if you want my honest opinion, I would stop at three out of five because that's where you get all of your all of your multipliers and and the other stuff is kind of worth it but i personally can't justify chasing it so so that's it for the fairs works very well with poison poison zone and you can run triple crowbat with decent success which is hilarious now we're gonna go over alder being our fair on the topic of fairs, our fair grid extension. So he got a three out of five. Sorry, he got four out of five and five out of five grid. This is not a power boost, obviously. Four out of five, he got did he got dismay two when you enter the field. Sorry, when you enter the field, a uh, uh, special attack goes down by two. Then furious brain. Though the more you use special attack is raised, the more the powers of sync moves. So you get your own special attack by six by default. So that's a free thirty percent damage on hyper beam. What the fuck? Struggle bug bogo at five out of five. Free move next when you struggle bug. So that's a free hyper beam is what they're trying to do. And impervious stats can be lowered. Trying to preserve your special attack. But then he also got pinpoint entry and brain sync. Brain, brain Sync does help because his only other Sync modifier was Devastation and Zone. So this helps him a little bit with, with the Sync Nuke, but at the end of the day, it is whatever. You, you're using for Hyper Man at the end of the day, so that's fine. Uh, Viola got a EX Tech, so that's actually decent. Like Let's look, let's look at her Multiplies real fast. That was the last thing I did with her. She yeah, has Station of Target, po Poke Trap stuff, Shower Power, built-in um, built-in trap damage up. You have Bug Zone. Now you have that. So she actually has quite a few multipliers going for her. I have the brain of a goldfish. Ignore me. Okay, Valentine's Day. Let's flying and dragon. I think it's dragon. Okay, dragon. We're going to go over Appleton first. Forgive me, I've been up for quite a while today. So, support pair. We all know how great support pairs are. I'm probably going to get get this for 1 of 5 just because it's a support. So, skills. I'm going to go over that first. Team Fist Bump. 9. Restore, restores HP when 
when the user's attack is, su is successful. Uh, midpoint men restores user HP by 50%. The first time its HP drops to half or below. That's very good. Initial synchro healing restores HP of all its synchros by 20%. The first time it sinks is used. So when you get your support EX, you heal everyone. You're healing everyone by by, by attacking. And, and when your HP drops to half, you heal. So like this pair is meant to last, to be blunt. Dire hit all plus. You max out all ally crit rate. Dragon Pulse. Sure. Apple Acid. Delicious. Lowers target special defense by one stat rank. So you can lower... You can lower... I said special attack. You can lower special defense. Sorry. Order up charges the, the user move against you by two for each outsing pair on the field. So plus six. Uh, when I call up, this is raise the one by two. Raise the defense of all outsing guys by three. So you can get all allies plus six defense. Now, good stuff. Uh, one out of five, you're not getting much. Base kits are pretty good for healing. You can max out crit rate. Now, I just wish there's an attack in here, but it is what it is. Two out of five, you get team sync cure. So when you get your support EX, all status conditions are, are cleansed. Physical damage reduction outright and triage tank four. So so that's pretty nice because you want to be the tank, obviously, because you can heal everything back. Then three out of five has Dragon Ball Staggering. Chance to flinch three of our move. I personally wouldn't recommend it. I forgot to mention Flabbergast. It confuses. Sure. Uh, re so revenge boost, move gauge when you're getting hit. That's fine. Hype up, 100% chance of bringing special attack about all I see cards by one when you use a move. So while you're healing, you're also raising special attack. So you're lowering special defense and you're topping off all alley special attack. So that's what this pair excels in. Special defense drops, uh, crit, crit support, and special attack support when you're three out of five. So, so yeah, I might get this pair three out of five. Like, I love the support stuff. Supports are so good. Vigilance, fine. TM move gate acceleration, fine. Impervious, fine. Trip up can also lower speed, fine. MGR9, fine. So like a lot of this stuff I don't consider fine, but this pair is like has a lot of healing. Plus it's an apple pie. Who doesn't love apple pie? Don't answer that. If you don't like apple pie, I lose respect for you. Alright, Togetic. Uh Strike Pair. This is a weird one. So I'm going to fly through this. Super powered five. Powers up moves and sync moves. Sure. Strengthening status. 100% chance of raising physical move and special move next when you use a status move. That's pretty good. But I just wish this was a support. Super countdown. 900% chance when of reducing countdown when using a move that's super effective. You have metronome. This is where the catch is. Uh, dire hit plus. Uh, Delivering Delight raises attack and special attack by three stat ranks. Okay, so you can ma max out your stats. Fly, we all know what Fly does. But, but its base power is actually like a decent bit higher. So there's your main source of damage. Then Strike, obviously. So AoE. Stats are there if you want to see. Even stats across the board. One out of five, you get Headstrong. Base power, fine. Two out of five, CS1. Dauntless, sl uh, Slippery Slope. Get sharp entry, so you only one dire hit. TM precision or is actually to help with fly a little bit. TM MPR, whatever. Super interference raises the chance of inflicting stat status conditions as well as additional effects of other moves. Fine. Uh, raises a stat at random. Metronome, nice. But to then three out of five, you have double down. TM super prep. Glo gloating boost, 100% 100 chance of raising physical move next and special move next by one when an opponent's attack move misses the target. So you can beef up your fly a decent amount. Sync, sync quickening restores 3 MP of fly when you use your sync move. But so then that would go with double down and soften up. But so then Metro SDE, Metro Super Countdown, so that'd be two. When, when you hit a super effective move. All in all, I think this pair will do fine damage, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. I, I'm personally go... 
um, firstly, go going to skip in favor of getting two supports and probably Lysandre, well, Lysandre, however you want to pronounce it. I'm not sure if I'm fully committed to getting them, but sure, why not? That's that. Now we have Zeb Stryka. Was this a power boost? Oh, yeah, I forgot I made that a while ago. Is this a power boost? Okay, it is a power boost. So yeah, it is a power boost. Uh, it's not 5 of 5, thankfully. So I'm just marking that for myself. So we have Critical Eye. Raises crit by 1 when its move is, is successful. Can max out zone crit. Great. Steadfast 9 for a wild charge. Great. Bronze Sync. Powers up. Sinks when the user's attack is raised. Great. That goes well with the inertia that is in, in, in the grid. And just Electric Train in general. Strike Nuke. So, so, so that's fine. But to then Fleet Feet raise speed by 2 when CM is successful. So that helps with, once again, inertia. And I think there's ramming speed. Yeah, and ramming speed here as well. Then I think that's all I got for the power boost. But yeah, overall, very good stuff via TMs. Like, Critical Eye helps it a lot. Uh, the only thing that this pair would, would struggle with is maxing its own attack and really doing it in a, in, in a quick manner. So you have time to get that support e e EX up first. Uh, some room for countdown. The yeah, extra HP is helpful. Extra attack is always nice. So Zeb Stryka is actually cooking. Okay. We don't have that much left. I'm going to go over the Xerneas power boost. Via event, which will be free to everyone. Get the EX if you didn't get it already. I'm an idiot. There it is. Okay. So stats are here. This pair got everything that i wanted quick gear fine whatever for free revenge when you're taking hits uh chance to apply free move next so that's great with your horn leeches team beef up for 50 percent chance of raising the attack of all oh, instant cars by one when you're hit so this goes with your team shout the problem was that he couldn't get his physical attack up fast enough or ally physical attack. But he get everyone's special attack up in one shot. This helps him so, so, so much with healing. It is ridiculous. Then Team Sharp Entry 1, he's able to help help allies max out their 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 crit rate by saving a ATM. So this is like so good. This is everything that I wanted him to have. So Xerneas, great. Support EX. Fucking great. I love it. Alright, now... I didn't go over Ghastly yet. Meant to do that. So, obviously, Lodge, Free Pair. Right? Omnis Wind, XR Stack All, Full Heal, Support Pair. See, the Unseen raises Evasion by 2. And Speed and Credit of 1 for everyone. Uh, support, so... There's no EX, unfortunately, but it is whatever. Swag Bag 1 raises Omnis Wind's chances. Group Slap Bash raises speed of everyone when when the target misses. Then First Aid. So this is actually a pretty decent evasion tank slash tank in general. So yeah, plus 4 evasion for self, plus, plus 2 speed, plus 2 crit. But then Grid, you, you can see everything here. Ridicure is nice. Uh... Fail forward's nice. Sing Synchro healing's nice. Uh, I switch you were in EX. Fla Flabbergast can loot, can confuse an another swag bag. Tighten up healthy healing so you can have some HP regen. Overall, it's pretty nice. It's nothing to write home home about. Nothing ultra spectacular, but pretty nice. Chantal, the biggest thing ab about this pair was was you wanted to be burned. You left yourself burned, so what So what can we do with that? Gritty 5. Great. L Lesson Burn 9. Great. You can run You can run CS2 on this pair. Shadow Ball. Pretty nice. You get on a roll for more special defense down, so it is whatever. But yeah, he Hex. 
unfortunately, you can't legally do target burn, so that that's fine. You and you get brain sink, uh, hot hot to, hot to to the touch. Oh, never mind. Thirty percent chance of leaving it. An opponent that attacked the user burned when it's hit by an attack move. So that helps your hex. You get some evasion if you want. You you can you can get your crit up to plus two. So you need one crit rate and two special attack. Very nice to top off. So yeah, overall, this is a pretty good pair. Top tier ghost DPS, not in the slightest. But she's at least usable. Now we have Maylene and Metacham. So skills obviously drain punch, X attack all. Gloves off was what she was really used for here. Crit rate plus two. Sure hit. So yeah, crit and attack was great back in the day. Drain punch. Then had on the ropes physical damage reduction. She got more physical d damage reduction. Precision pals and pep rally. Drain punch super duper effective. So that's more healing. I wish you got a master healer, but it's not the end of the world. Rock smash on a roll for more defense drops. And just some general immunity stuff. So, so, so yeah, she got a pretty, pretty nice buff. And I forgot who the last, last one is. That's the CS. Rampardos. Okay. Rook and Rampardos, the pair that was mean bond for the longest time for just being shitty, actually became half decent. Calling me surprised. So, skills, headstrong attack cannot be lowered. That is fine. Smackdown, X attack, head smash was the kicker here. You're going to need a helmet. Charges move gauge by three. Apply sure hit next. But then strike pair. So, Smackdown, you're not doing much with Smackdown. X attack plus four attack. Now you get TM follow through. So, so you actually get yourself a guaranteed crit. You get TM hit and heal. So, you can heal yourself. Mighty Command, phys physical next one you use, you're going to need a helmet. So you can give it four effects, in, in, quote, in quotes. Pinpoint entry to help with that A80 A accuracy, because you can get you get you you can max out here otherwise, but but you can also just pinpoint. Sharp entry for for an ally supporting you, they, you would only need two. First aid, when you drop to a certain point, you heal. PR, when you're low. You do more damage, obviously. Double down and haymaker for your sink. Now, if this was strike, no, this strike. If this was ex, it this would actually be not half bad because you can guarantee a crit on an AOE. One hundred fifty percent powered sink move. If you have rocks on, that's obviously a little higher. You get a ridiculous amount of damage reduction off head smash. So overall, this actually became a decent single target rock DPS. I'm actually. Decently impressed. Overall, the biggest kicker in this for me is actually Snorlax. I might have to go for a full 5 out of 5 Snorlax in the future. With candies, obviously, I'm not going to break the bank. Don't worry about me. Yeah, just great update. A lot of great stuff. I feel like a lot of people are going to sleep on, on, on Volcanion. Because it is a because we just got uh, Serena. Everyone's going for Serena. Everyone is gonna go for Leon and Charizard. I forgot to mention this. Good job me for remembering. Put on my back. Leon and Charizard got one of the best buffs today. Something we've been waiting for for forever. Now it doesn't show it here for some reason, but Leon is getting his max moves. You can G-Max Wildfire, our first Airstream, and another Ground. This is really, really great. We were waiting for this. We were shooting on this for the longest time. Like, oh, where is Oh, why didn't Leon come with Max moves? He should debut with Max moves. He should have. Now they're here. They can go back and give people Max moves whenever they want. Here's a funny for you. Raihan and... And Duraladon, right? Five out of five grit already. You you can set up your own sand if they give him his max moves. So you only need to worry about maxing out his defense. That is hilariously broken. I'm not gonna go into too much details into that, but yeah, they can they can just go back and give people max moves as long as they make the animations for them. Leon Charles are still a little bit slow, 
But now you have the option to blow something up. Quite literally. Anyway, that is it for me. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are, lo are looking forward to some of this stuff. Remember, Inverse is around the corner. So summon wisely. I'll have more shitty summons coming out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.